Okay, uh, this is uh, cost minimization. It's from my textbook in microeconomics and I'm Richard Friedberg. It's from chapter three in that book. Okay, so um, we're looking at, at a firm who has to decide what inputs to use uh, to produce a given quantity. Okay, so it has two inputs called capital and labor. Uh, it's choosing how to produce that uh, quantity, a given quantity at, at the lowest possible price. So a given quantity, we can denote that by an isoquant, so different combinations of inputs that give the same uh, quantity produced. So 100 loaves of bread, for instance, okay? Um, so this is isoquant. We've seen before that the uh, slope of that equal to marginal rate of technical substitution, which has um, it's a negative of marginal product of labor over the marginal product of capital. Okay, so the marginal product of the uh, of the input factor that's on the horizontal axis over the marginal product of the um, factor of production that's measured along the vertical axis. Okay, so the question now is where should the firm produce? Um, well, we know that there's an ISO cost that might look something like this. Okay, so this is an ISO cost and its uh, slope uh, will be given by uh, wages over the rental rate of capital or minus this, but um, we're looking at the absolute value as we're comparing um, I want to have them same in the same units. Okay, so we could look at a candidate point like this, where firm is using K0 units of capital and L0 units of uh, labor. So is that cost minimizing? Uh, no, we know that um, you know it wants to produce along the ISO quantity wants to find the lowest possible uh, cost on this isoquant. We also know that lower ISO costs, ISO costs that have a lower intercept here are associated with lower costs, okay? So we could successfully look at lower ISO costs here saying, you know, using less capital and more labor uh, would be associated with, with a lower, um, lower total cost for, for, this, for this firm. And how long can that process go on? Well, until we reach a point where the ISO cost is tangent to the ISO quant, where they just, just touch. Okay, so we can look at successively lower um, ISO costs and that following ISO cost, which is also has the same slope as, um, as uh, this. So wages over rental rate, the lowest possible cost is reached when this much capital, K star, and this much labor, L star is used, okay? So at the point of tangency gives the cost minimizing choice of inputs. And at this point, the ratio of marginal products is equal to the ratio of input prices. So another way to say this would be a point like this, lots of capital being used, little labor, the marginal product of labor is really high. Okay, so an additional worker is gonna give, uh, do a lot for how much you can produce. But if we're looking at what's the cost of that worker, well, it's relatively low. The ISO cost is relatively flat here. Okay, which means that it makes sense to substitute, use less capital, more laborers. How long does it make sense to do that? Well, up until to the point where you have a tangency and have found the cost minimizing solution.